everybody, my name is Ashley Franks and I am the Children's Director at Tahlequah United Methodist Church and today I just wanted to share a short devotional with you that might help bring some encouragement during this time. So I want to start by reading out of 1 John chapter 4 verse 19. We love because God first loved us. It's a short verse but it's a simple that has so much power and potent into it. Because God loves us so much, we have the ability to show that love to others. We're in a season right now where many people are struggling and having very, very hard times. But we're still called to love even in this time as well. So we've been kind of racking our brains and trying to think of ways that we could show love to others while we're in a time of distancing ourselves from them at the same time. And that's okay, we can come up with new ways that are creative. One way that we came up with was just a simple little worksheet that you could color and it just is a sweet little reminder that you're loved. Many people in, in times right now, they may not have a family at home with them. They may live by themselves or they live in a nursing home that are not allowing visitors to come to them. And so we might need to be creative in how we can find ways to still share love with those people during this time. I've come up with many ways that I've seen throughout Facebook that I think have been great ideas. Some are chalking messages on the sidewalks in their driveway so that when people are going for walks, they're getting encouragement as they go through their walks. I know of neighborhoods that are putting up teddy bears in their homes so that when children are going through walks or being driven through those neighborhoods, they can go on a bear hunt and connect it to a, bit, a story that they've written. So right now what we're asking you to do is to find a way to share love with somebody who needs to hear that message. For kids, it might be your parents or your grandparents that are taking care of you right now that are needing it the most. Anything that I've noticed in life is that adults have a harder time with change than kids do. Kids have a tendency to be a bit more flexible, but adults have a harder time. So this is the time they really need to hear the thank yous for everything they're doing for you right now or the I love you very much, thank you for doing this for me. But also there's other people in our lives, so I want you each day to think of one way you can share love with somebody else. And I want you to be creative. It could be drawing a picture like my daughters are doing right now to send to people. It might be videoing yourself singing Jesus Loves Me and then sending it to somebody in a nursing home who can't have visitors right now. I want you to be creative and what I'm asking you to do is in our comment section through this video, either post pictures or a short video showing what you're doing so that way we can encourage each other. We may not be able to come physically together, but we can still come together and do the most good that we can possibly do in this time. So I'm gonna kind of close this with a quick prayer. So if you please pray with me. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us. Help us to be able to show your love to others during this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I ask you as we go out to think of those ways that we can share love with those around us. Thank you and have a good day.